So those all sound very fascinating and things that I would imagine at first glance is going to be very challenging to somebody without the experience, right? Yeah, yeah. Very, so very. give me an example, two examples, but two different examples. One, Give me one example of the of a guy that you coached that had the most challenging experience in this and, and because of Love what they're working what, with him right now right it, what, what, based on what their starting point is and two whether it's the same guy or not give me an example of a guy you coach that had the most transformative experience from your coaching session so start with guy that had the the worst starting point you can think of and what what do you think that guy's challenge is Okay, so the big so one of the biggest challenges was a guy that I worked with in his early forties. Yeah, who uh, I won't say his race just because I don't want to sound like I'm racist here, but we'll just say he's not American and he has an accent, so okay. he's not from America. Okay, and if you're in a country, literally any country, and it's not your native language, there's going to be a problem. With attracting okay. women. Okay. Okay. So plus five two. So Ooh. on the below average, below average height. And uh not that this is not a big deal, but I guess it's worth mentioning. Has a couple of kids divorced. Mm. That doesn't really add to his value, but it's not that big of a deal. Um and has only been with one or two women. Like been meaning sexually or yeah, dated sexual or relate and, and relationship both. Okay, so he was married for most of his life as has two kids, and and so yeah, you present that guy to to most women and they're just gonna say no, nope, don't want that. He's old, he's short, and he's not from America. Oof. Nope, no problem. That's how attraction works. I get it. That's, you know, off the bat. Okay. But what did we do? We took him okay. through my system. We taught him assertiveness. We taught him how to lead. We taught him how to look his best. So we optimized his looks to make him as physically attractive as possible. Okay. We taught him how to swipe an hour a day. Hour we a taught day. him how to go out and approach women. We built his confidence. And within a few months, he's now dating a couple of girls and he's getting laid. <laughs> Uh, that's, you know what? Oh. I'm not, I'm not even mad at that because at the end of the day, like, and this is what we, we said earlier as a man, even though it's a challenge to be rejected and having to put your foot best foot forward and be the person that takes initiative. I think the advantage men have, once you do get that, that down is you get to decide how your life goes. Right. Mm -hmm. You get once you have the tools, you get to make a, more of a decision on yep. your love life that you can take more control of. And you can give, a, you know, women either sex or relationship and so on and so forth once you have those tools. So, yeah. So give me an example of. So that was the example of the most transformative person. Uh, that was. No, no, I don't think that was the most transformative person. That was the biggest leap, I think. OK. Um, the most transformative person. It's almost like I've had a lot of these guys, but I want to see if there's an, like an interesting. AKA, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being honest. Um, but like a big, like the biggest transformation. I mean, I guess I, I don't know. I just have stories all the time of guys I work with who they they have nothing. They have nothing going for them, and then by the time we're done, they're just dating all these women and they're having a dating life and they feel calm. I mean, I've had guys who this is the cool part about it is they'll find me to help them with women. But what happens is they become more confident in themselves. They start getting raises at work and they do better with their work. They do better with socializing in general. Wow. I've had guys where I've just fully helped develop. Oh, here's yeah. Here's a big one. I worked with a guy worked with him for a year and I'm trying to say this without giving any personal details. Um, also a guy who had kids and we got him from literally just a guy who had a job in a city to a guy who ended up getting a girlfriend okay. who 
they are now moving in together after dating for almost a year. Uh huh. So full on relationship. Uh huh. Plus he's has a full social circle of of awesome dudes that he hangs out with all the time. Okay. And he's doing better with all the different areas of his life, his health, working out with his fashion, with, uh. um, with, as I already said, friends with his career, like everything. We just totally transformed everything in his life. And it all started with going out and meeting women. And you know how he met this woman huh. with a mask on in freezing cold temperatures uh-huh. on an in-person approach on the street. <laughs> Were you there when it happened? <laughs> I was not. Okay. Or do you ever go like do that? with the- mm-hmm. Interesting. I do that one about once a year. When I first started TripAdvice in 2011, I was doing that exclusively every weekend, going out with guys and wiring them up to mics and listening to what they were saying to women. Really? And approach women. Yeah. You were, so you were like literally coaching from the field. Yeah. That's. It was exhausting, <laughs> but it was fun. You know, you, okay. You, you, are you in a, you're in a relationship? Yep. Okay. How does your girlfriend feel? Fiance. Fiance. I'm sorry. How does no, your, fi- okay. how does your fiance feel about your pursuit to help men get women using a lot of these tools you're mentioning? Does she feel that, you know, you're giving away too much of the secret sauce? <laughs> does she feel no, like no, she feels, yeah, she feels great about it. I mean, yeah. I couldn't imagine anyone who wouldn't feel great about it. Well, I think it depends. I think some women might, I don't know. I, I've spoken to some women, either ones that I, I have been in relationships with or women I've just speak to in my circle or in passing, like that there are these specific things that guys can do. Right. And a lot of women say you either have it or you don't. Right. Yeah. They'll say these things or they'll be concerned that like guys are just learning how to run game on women. What's wrong. What's wrong with um, learning how to, I mean, I, you can, we can use the term game, but what's wrong with learning how to learn attraction skills. I call it, I'll, I'll call it attraction skills. I got you. That's not what some, some women might call it. So I, I'm asking about your fiance to see if like she f- might feel that like, you know, a lot of these guys, especially the ones that don't really have the genuine uh, character traits are just learning how to like bamboozle women into sleeping with them. You know what I mean? But, but is it bamboozling? I'm not saying it is. No, I'm I, talking. I, I know. I know you're not. But that's, right. that's kind of like my response to it. Like if a woman was saying those things, because you're at, I know what you're doing. You're being the antagonist <laughs> uh, an antagonist uh you're you're being the vessel right now from kind of what you've heard from women so these are the things that i would respond to them you're you're you're, you're the you're the middleman right now so yeah. i'd be saying to them well i would i you know what i would say god see it's so un, it's so not politically correct when you have these conversations but um but i would say to a woman you put on makeup so go ahead hit that button <laughs> Go on. So isn't that bamboozling? Isn't that manipulative? Oof. But the thing Oof. is, is I'm actually not even teaching guys how to be manipulative <laughs> or, or be someone that they're not. We're teaching them how to come into a person who's more confident. Um, but, I, you know, the makeup thing is like, well, that's not what you look like. Uh. And it's fine. I'm not saying women shouldn't wear makeup. Makeup is great. It does make women look more attractive. They look sexy with makeup on. That's why they wear it. We all know that's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. And it's funny. It's like, if a woman says you're teaching how much it's like, you're what's the difference really. And Mm. also I'm not teaching any guys to lie. Mm. I would say manipulations. Like to me, that's synonymous with lying because it's like, you're, you're doing something false to get something you want. I'm not teaching any guys to do anything false. I'm teaching guys how to have courage and confidence. Now the pickup industry really did that. It was like gambits and pickup routines yeah, and lies yeah. to say to women things that like were were effective, but also just that would be more manip- manipulative in my eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm teaching guys how to be an actual confident person. You got to fake it till you make it a little bit. Yeah. But uh, if that's called manipulation, then I think that's 
going a little too far. Huh. Interesting. What, what, what does... So my, so my fiance is cool with it because we're teaching guys. I'm teaching men how to be the man that a woman wants. Okay. Right? Okay. It's like, how many happy relationships and how many I- women have I made happy because they found an amazing guy that I helped? I'm not trying to be arrogant here. It's just the facts. Like, I've changed these guys' lives to be more attractive men that has affected the lives of the women who have met them in a right. very positive way. So that's how I see it. So in other words, like you've made a lot of other women happy. I think so. I while, hope so. While, while, I, being, while being engaged to your woman. <laughs> 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 how does she feel about that? <laughs> Even better. <laughs>